I want to go into a little detail about the uh, the piston rings for this Tecumseh engine. I'd like to point out that uh, if one of the piston rings has a, a chamfer on the inside of the ring, that that chamfer generally needs to be in the upright position when you put the ring on the piston. If there happens to be a notch on the outside of the ring, then that notch will actually point down uh, toward the bottom or the skirt of the piston. Also, this is a ring expander. It usually goes on the third compression ring on the bottom, underneath the, the ring that goes in the bottom groove. And you want to make sure that when you put these in, the gap for the ring expander is staggered away from the gap in the bottom ring. I will show you uh, a diagram of what I'm talking about as far as the chamfer goes, the notch goes, and the expander goes. Uh, this particular engine does not have a chamfered ring. That's my top ring. The second ring does have a notch in the bottom that will be installed pointing down. And of course, the expander and the last ring will go in the bottom like that. So what I would like to do first of all is to install the ring expander. It's really just a, a coil that goes around and I will place that all the way on the back side of the piston. Uh, rather that way. Then we'll take the bottom ring Expand it out a bit. And that one's in place. The second ring, which has the notch in the bottom, put that in the second notch on the piston. top ring and the last ring in the top groove. And as I mentioned in other videos, what we want to do is to stagger these gaps about 120 degrees. So I'll leave the bottom ring gap where it is. I'll swing the second ring gap Maybe. There you go, 120, and then the top ring here. So gap, gap, and gap, and then the piston will be installed. Then we take our valve ring compression tool, not valve ring, sorry, piston ring compression tool. Open it up a bit. I'm going to put a little oil in here. Just so things slide smoothly and don't get caught up on anything. And 
we put our ring in there. about a quarter inch sticking out on the bottom as we compress our rings. And then we take our block. Put a little oil on the cylinder, make sure that's nice and slick. Doesn't matter what kind of oil, this is just some generic, well, it's Castrol GTX 5W30, but some extra oil I had laying here in the shop. piston in there and gently tap it back into the cylinder and if you get any kind of resistance whatsoever you better stop and find out what's going on piston is now back in the cylinder where it belongs and now we'll work on getting everything else in here. <laughs> 